Riddle me this, is every single task that you do specifically designed to achieve a particular outcome when it comes to your marketing efforts? Yes or no? My name's Chris Hargraves, this is the Digital Marketing Mastery Series, and welcome to today's episode. We're talking about the absolute fundamentals of marketing, and the question you need to be asking yourself is this, why am I doing this activity? Because we get caught up in the tools, we get caught up in the glitz, we get caught up in the activity, and sometimes we can end up just unloading this enormous amount of frenetic activity that doesn't actually achieve anything and isn't targeted towards any particular goal. So, if we're going to be a little strategic in our decision making, how are we going to decide what to do on any given occasion? Of course, time will be a restricting element, but let's talk about the strategy for the moment. Because this is where I think people start to confuse digital marketing, thinking that it is something which it is not. Digital marketing, as as, as well as every other form of marketing, is about building relationships with people. And people, by and large, will do business with other people that they know, like, and trust. And to me, that is the essential element of any marketing activity, which is, is it directed towards ticking off one of those three main areas, known, liked, and trusted. If you want to establish yourself as an authority In your particular field, you need to become known, liked, and trusted with a defined group of people who, ultimately, you want to make profitable decisions in your favor, whether that's through referrals, whether that's through some other means, whether that's through actually giving you their work themselves. It doesn't really matter. The question is, are your activities directed towards that? And are they directed towards that in the right balance? Because what we have a tendency to do as lawyers is we write a lot of scholarly articles thinking that this builds the perception of our expertise. And to some extent, and with some audiences, that might be true. But even if you are the most expert person, if people don't like you because you have no apparent degree of humanity left in your writing style that allows you to connect with other people, then they're probably not going to hire you as their lawyer in all but the most specialist areas. So, are you ticking the likability box, or are you only ticking the trusted box, which is where expertise goes? How are you getting your name well known? How are you finding new people? Where do your desired people hang out, and what are you doing about finding them and getting to know them and meeting them? If you were to go to a networking function and stand in the corner talking to yourself in legalese, even if it was the most sophisticated thing you ever said, the chances of you having a successful networking event are pretty slim, aren't they? And digital marketing is exactly the same. You need to first meet people and you need to be personable with them. You need to be likable and you need to inquire about them. This is how relationships are built, whether it's online or offline, it makes no difference. And for some reason, we seem to have lost the path a little bit there, thinking that because it's the internet, we don't have to go through that initial relationship building phase. And that is simply untrue for any number of reasons. So here's what I want to encourage you to do today. Take an audit of your current marketing activities and think, is what I'm doing evenly and effectively ticking all of the boxes about becoming known, liked and trusted in my industry? Or... Am I perhaps too heavily focused on one? Maybe you have an excellent outreach program, but you're never getting that perception of expertise. You're never getting that trust in you as a professional advisor. Maybe you're spending too much time on professional articles and not enough time just sitting being nice to people and listening to what they have to say. These are the balances you need to find. So take an audit of your activities and see where you might need to rebalance. That is what you can do today to help your marketing efforts along the board. And I will see you next time. If you are looking forward to the next tips, I'd encourage you to subscribe wherever it is you're listening to this and make sure you don't miss out on these regularly available digital marketing strategies, tactics, tools, and tips. And I will see you next time.